Judy Holmquist, a ninth grade geography teacher, is working with her students on a unit examining the relationships between geography and the economy in different parts of the United States. Her students have gathered information that appears on a large chart displayed in the front of the classroom, and Judy begins by referring the students to this material. Uh, we've, we've worked on this project actually about three, three and a half days, and uh, this lesson is kind of a culmination of that. We're going to deal with some, uh, hopefully, some higher order thinking skills. First thing I want you to do is, we're going to deal with the geography column. Now, what I want you to do is to get with your partner, and I want you to write three differences and similarities on just the geography portion of the chart. So get together with your partner. Aaron, who did you work with yesterday? OK. I don't understand exactly what we're supposed to do. OK. You got you to gotta list. You take a look at the geography column. You give me three things that are alike and three things that are different. All right. Just geography, yeah, just geography. Go ahead. Um, the temperature, like in September for New York and California, can I put that down as the same because like the 68 in California, 69? Yeah, uh -huh. you might think about why too. Mm -hmm. Okay, and? Not necessarily, no. They can be just two of them. Not necessarily, no. They can just, they can be in groups. Pardon? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, about one more minute. You look like you're doing a good job. The teacher gives the students a few more minutes to identify their similarities and differences, and then she calls the groups together. Okay, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Uh, let's start here. Give me a, a piece of information, Jackie, about the geography column. They all have mountains except for Florida. OK, they all have mountains except for Florida. Give me something else, Jeff. They, all of them touch the ocean or something. OK, what else? Give me something else. Go ahead, Dodd. Pardon? OK, we have four corners. What else? Missy. OK, New York and Florida both have coastal plains. Okay, guys in the back, I can hear you. Scott, give me something. They all have um, cold weather during December. They have cold weather in December. <laughs> We're going to look at that one. Cold weather in December. Okay, Tim. All, all the summer temperatures are above um, 50%. I mean, 50 degrees. Okay, all summer. Uh, 50 degrees. What else can you tell me? How about some different, are there any differences? Jackie, okay, Chris? The temperature ranges a lot. Um, the temperature ranges a lot, good, okay. Temperature ranges a lot. The class continues offering similarities and differences until their lists are complete. And then Judy asks them to look at the economy column of the chart. She gives them three minutes to again identify similarities and differences, and the students then turn back to their partners.
At the end of their allotted time, Judy again calls the class back together and they again report their findings. Carnesia. All are involved in fishing. Okay, they all have fishing. Okay, give me a difference. John. They all have forestry. Okay, they all have they all have forestry. Okay, I want a difference. Chain. Okay, where are, are we have fruit in Alaska? Where do we have fruit? That's all right. It's similar between what though? All right, we have Florida and California have fruit. Okay, Lance. Um, Alaska is the only state with um, what was it? Oil. Oil. Okay, oil. Alaska trapping oil. Okay, what else? Jeff, good. Um, New York's only one that produces apples. Okay. New York light manufacturing apples. Anything else? Okay, great. Now let's take a look at this. Why, in terms of a similarity, why is there fishing? Go ahead, They're John. All near the coast. They're all near the coast. Okay. Why do they all have forestry? Okay, Jeremy? All right, they all basically have lots, lots of trees. Now, if they have lots of trees, what does this tell you about their climate? Okay, it's warm enough, but along with being warm enough, it is, it has enough fertile soil and moisture. Great, okay, now let's take a look. We have fruit in California and in Florida. Why do we have the citrus industry there? Why do we have, okay, Jackie, good. Pardon? Oh, you know. Why do we grow oranges down here? All right, because of the climate. All right, now, if Jackie says it's because of the climate, what kind of climate allows the citrus industry? Tim? Humid subtropical. Okay, humid subtropical, okay? Humid subtropical. Humid subtropical means that we have what? <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know. I don't know. What okay, what is humid subtropical? Long, humid, summer, short, mild winter. Okay, great. So that's why we have the citrus industry here. Uh, does California have the same kind of thing, Tim? No. What does it have? What does it say about California? Tropical and subtropical desert. Okay. Why does each area have tourism? Okay, Lance. Because they're spread out, they're each on four corners, and they all have like different seasons that they, they are popular in. Oh, uh, anyone know what tourism is all about in Alaska? Go ahead. Dog sled racing. Dog sled racing. Yes, as a matter of fact, a Montanan is ahead of the Iditarod right now. You know that? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so. In, in terms, in, you don't know what that is? In a, a, a dinner rod, that, that's where they get the huskies pulling a sled through the, uh, I don't know how long the mile course is, but there's a race and they run it every time this year in Alaska. In Alaska. American won it this year. Okay, back on task. So we have tourism then in, in all four of the areas. Now let's take a look at the differences. Um, Alaska also has trapping. First of all, anyone can, can anyone explain to me what trapping is? Go ahead, Jeff, and back. Yeah, that part where they trap beavers and stuff and they, they sell the hides. Yeah. Okay. Judy sees that they are near the end of the period, so she again has the students work in their groups for a few minutes to summarize what they've done in the lesson. I want to know what effect the climate has on the economy of those regions. Like yeah, what effect, basically, what effect does the geography landforms have on the economy? Okay.
Okay, let's see what you've got for an answer. Braden, you had one. Okay, I want to know what effect, listen up, excuse me, Brooke. I want to know what effect geography, which is climate and landform, has on the economy. You gave me one answer already. The mountain, then you can't have farmland. Okay, if you have mountains in the area, then you can't have wide open spaces for farmland. What else? Becky. Great, okay, climate affects what's grown and what was the last part of that? What, what's done with people. All right, okay, great. Class dismissed.